Illegal marijuana grows have become a huge problem in the high desert. A thousand illegal weed operations in that, and they're being terrorized by operators who are going to extremes to build and guard their grows. I knew there was a weed farm up the road, and I knew they had pit bulls, but I didn't think much of it. And as I ran by, one of the pit bulls came charging out um, from behind the fence and just lunged at my legs and bit my legs, and it was a really traumatic experience. That attack in late 2019 led Amy Tessier and her husband Jeff Taylor to take a closer look at what was happening around them in 29 Palms. I realized as time went by and we started to see more hoop buildings and more um, illegal grows popping up that I was like, wait a minute, this actually isn't legal. As you can see, large berms are created in an effort to hide from law enforcement and hide their activities from neighbors. As you see here, you can see the remnants of this grow site. You see the trash. Pointing out dozens of what the Sheriff's Department confirms are illegal operations in this part of San Bernardino County, where growing marijuana remains against the law despite the passage of Prop 64. That proposition legalized pot in California, but also changed illegal cultivation from a felony to a misdemeanor with fines of only $500. I've had people cry to me how they're terrified. There's grows right next door to them. The community is coming together to fight back, charting and reporting these illegal farms to law enforcement. Their Dragon One Community Watch drone has captured images of more than 120 of these operations. I'm not scared anymore. I'm angry. I want to protect our community for them, for my children, for all the people in this community. I mean, it's a huge problem that I don't think everyone fully grasps the magnitude of it. You can also see that this location is being supplied by uh, city water because there is a municipal water box right there on the property and that's how this pot farm was getting fed by uh, city water. The things we've done is gone to members of the legislature uh, in order to seek legislation that would allow us to deny service. Uh, based on some of these practices in these remote areas. Cutting off the water supply is complicated, he says, citing health and safety. But I know a lot of neighbors in the area are very concerned that these illicit operations are, are really draining the system. Would, would you dispute that? There's been such water use reductions uh, since the end of the last drought that that has not occurred. The district provided these documents to the I-team, comparing 2013 to 2020, showing a decline in gallons used. And Ortega maintains cutting off supply could create bigger problems. And in cases where the service is cut off, some of these folks will go and steal it. And they will steal it by rupturing a pipeline in a remote area, by inserting a valve to divert the water. County now officially counts more than a thousand illegal grow operations, and the sheriff's department suspects there are hundreds more. Investigators tell me every flash of white you see from this aerial view represents an illegal marijuana operation. Law enforcement simply cannot keep up. A state of emergency from the state level would absolutely provide resources for us. San Bernardino County Supervisor Don Rao. It could be funding, it could be manpower, it could be a help with the legal system, the Attorney General's office. Till then, neighbors in 29 Palms are meticulously tracking these illegal operations, sharing images and coordinates with the San Bernardino County Marijuana Enforcement Team. Together, they're determined to protect the desert for generations to come.